Today we're going to be creating rockets using lines and shapes. We've covered lines before, but lines are the path of a moving point. They can look very, very different. You can have straight lines, curved lines, you could even have spiral or wavy lines. If you have sharp lines, they could be like zigzag lines or loopy lines. We're going to end up using multiple types of lines to create our artwork today. And some of them are going to work together to create shapes. Shapes are two-dimensional or 2D objects. You'll notice that they are created by using different types of lines. Let's start with our rocket. We're going to begin by adding a dot towards the top corner of our paper. From this dot, you're going to use two straight lines that come down and out to begin creating a triangle. Connect your two sides with a flat bottom to finish your triangle. Now we have to turn our paper so that it looks like a diamond. This is going to help make it easier to draw the body of our rocket. Now that our paper is twisted, we can use a frown line on top of the triangle and then a smile line on the bottom corner of our triangle to create the body of our rocket ship. Great job! Now we can turn our paper back to square. Inside of our rocket ship, use two circles, one on the outside and one on the inside, in order to create a window for our rocket ship. We're going to add on a booster at the bottom of our rocket ship. A little bit below our two smile lines, you want to add on a straight line. Use a tall, narrow rainbow to create the booster shape. Now we can close off our rocket ship by using straight lines that connect to the booster. On the sides of our rocket ship, we need to add on two more boosters. You can use the letter L and the number 7 to get them started. Connect them to your rocket ship using curved or straight lines, and they're going to kind of remind you of curvy triangles. In order to create our exhaust, you're going to want to come down and out with two straight lines. Connect them with a flat straight line so that it reminds you of the bottom of a triangle. Add one more layer onto the bottom of our triangle by extending the lines and using another long flat line to connect them. Instead of just using smoke, we're going to create an exhaust that has four different types of lines or more coming out from the rocket. You can use the same exact lines that I use in this video or you can make your own. Your lines can be long, they can be short, and some of them can be in between. But remember to use at least four different types of lines, whether that's wavy or loopy or even zigzag. Don't forget you can use straight lines, you can also reuse a type of line, or you can incorporate some broken lines which are dashed lines or dotted lines. You just want to remember to keep your lines behind the rocket. Now it's time to color. Using my crayons, I'm going to trace over my different types of lines with a different color. This way, we're creating a fun, vibrant, and colorful exhaust for our rocket ship. Since our blast off lines are all colored, we can move on to the rocket. You can use any color you would like to start adding color to the details on your rocket. Don't forget, if you wanted to, you can even add a color into your window. Let's add to our background. Our background in this picture is the space all around our rocket. You could always go ahead and make it daytime if you wanted to keep it simple, but 
I figured we could always take on a challenge and create a space or galaxy background for our rocket as though it is blasting away into outer space. The first step in that would be creating some stars. You can use small circles to create your stars or we could create a five point star. One of the tricks that I always use for a five point star is to start off with the letter A. We all know how to begin with that strong peak and then crisscross it with an extra long middle line. From here, you're connecting the arms of that extra long line down to the opposite foot. When they crisscross, you can get rid of all the lines on the inside and you're gonna have a perfect five point star. If you wanted to leave the lines on the inside, that is totally okay too. If you wanted to add other stars or other types of stars, you can. But when you are finished, you can use white, silver, or gold to begin adding color to your stars. Now that we've added stars, we can create a galaxy background and make it look like outer space. Usually people think of just black, but truly outer space is full of color. The galaxy has so many different colors in the nighttime sky. To keep it simple, you can always use black, purple, and blue, or you can get a little bit more creative and start adding in reds and pinks. You can start by adding a layer of black into your night sky. You don't want to make it super dark because we're going to go back in and we're going to add other layers of color on top to create that galaxy effect. When you're going over your rocket's exhaust, don't cover up your lines with the black. You don't want to cover up your hard work. You can then start adding in galaxy colors on top. Just remember to use these galaxy color overlays to fill in any of the white spaces we might have missed while we were doing our layer of black. Great job, you're all finished. 